Hi and welcome to another video! Have you ever wondered why some players seem to have this beautiful and incredible musical legato, this perfect connection between one note and the other? Well, this is partly because of using what I call the crab fingering, crab with B. This type of fingering is a fingering that um, uses the flexible adjustment rather than changing of position literally unclipping with the thumb and moving to another position when you need to move to a nearby position we are speaking about two three frets sometimes four because this not only gives you the physical possibility to connect one note with the other but it gives the visual input to the audience that there is not a sudden break of the phrase but instead a nice beautiful transition that goes smoothly with the music. So how do you start developing this type of legato? First of all, you will need to start working on your expansion and contraction of the hand, thus flexibility. So at the moment, if you're not comfortable with extensions of fingers two frets or three frets apart, I would recommend you watching my previous video on flexibility, which is a little bit more basic. It has also some exercise. You can download the PDF and work on it a little bit so that this exercise that we are going to do now does not make you any pain or any injuries. Once you have practiced for some days the previous PDF, you can go and download the PDF that I will make for this tutorial as we will be taking the difficulty up a notch. As always, you will find the link here in the description. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and you take some value from it and share them with other musicians if you can help them. So let's go straight to the exercise. The first one is going to be fairly simple. I will be doing them on the third string, but for your own practice, I would recommend that you play them in all strings. You get used to the different hand positioning. Given that the exercises are on extension and contraction, we will start on the upper frets and we will move progressively our way down. And do not worry if any of the exercises you don't make it all the way until the first fret, that's totally fine, just make until where you can reach and progressively you will gain a little bit more expansion so you can move to the lower frets. We're going to start with 1 and 2 and we will place them on the 11th and 12th fret. So we will be stretching the first finger back and then following with the second finger. You don't want to jump, you want always to have one finger on the string playing without cutting the sound, that's very important. As the first exercise is fairly simple, really try to follow through the finger motion of extension and contraction while keeping your hand steady with a good position. We will of course do the same with finger 2 and 3. This might have felt a little bit trickier, but now we go with the last one, three and four. So try to keep up until where you can. And this exercise, we are going until the first fret, even if it's three and four, just for the sake of practicing the extension. We did the consecutive fingers, now we need the other combinations. Now we will start one and three in these other three sets of fingerings. As they are not consecutive, you will have to remember to always see the one finger per fret. So in this case, we are expanding one fret here and then the third finger will follow. So we still have one fret in between. So for now, we keep the same distancing. The next combination we will have two and four. And the last one will have one and four. And remember that every time you will need to have two frets in between where you would have the two and the three. So the exercise goes like this.
this should have felt fairly easy, but is more for the control of the movement with all the finger combinations. Now as an upgrade, we will put one more fret in between. For the written exercises, you can check the PDF, everything is written down. Now with two frets, you should already start to feel the extension with surely this and this combination of fingerings. So after practicing how it works with the extension, now we're going to add more of the contraction so we get to develop this big and very small movement. This can be a very good and very powerful flexibility exercise, but as always with this kind of exercise, be careful, don't overdo them, and whenever you feel pain, really stop. Actually, never try to reach until it hurts. Just feel the, the muscles being worked, a bit of tiredness is fine, but not pain. Now we're going to take the two fret extension, but when we are moving the finger back, instead of moving just one fret, we will move it all the way close to the other finger. So we'll have much more of this movement to do. Let's give it a go. For the contractions, to really learn the contraction, we are going to use the combinations of fingerings that are not consecutive. So 1 and 3, 2 and 4, and 1 and 4. Now for you to practice some other combinations, I also wrote for you a couple more advanced exercises. The first one is going to be based only on 1 and 3, given that they are the two fingers that we generally use the most for this type of approach. So it's just gonna be a little bit messing around on F major. This exercise has different type of stretches, sometimes it's a little bit longer, sometimes it's a little bit shorter, which comes in very handy because that's actually how it's going to be found in pieces. If you like, you can add some variations to it. Another good thing to do is also to add slurs, so then we force the hand to remain here on the fret while we do the extension. This exercise is going to train you one part of the hand very well, but now I'm going to give you a last exercise, maybe a little bit more advanced, to reinforce the part of the pinky finger. Because it's a fact that in many guitar pieces we do need to reach out for stretches. So I'm hoping that this exercise is going to help you with those situations. So that was all for today. I hope you enjoy the exercises. Please be careful in doing all these uh, stretches and extensions. Be gentle with your hands. And remember, it's more about progression and slowly, slowly build up the flexibility rather than trying to do everything in one sitting. Again, remember to download the PDF. The link is in the description if you want to have the exercises in printed form. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content or share the video with other musicians. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.